There are about 500 tons of steel that have been brought on site and built inside this building. We're going to take a little tour to take a look at that. And imagine that this is a new building that cradles the old. So it's built first and stressed and the horticulture building then welded and attached to it. And it's the new building that's lifted. And when that happens, the horticulture building in its mind still thinks it's sitting on its foundation. And the new building then will be moved the 150 or 500 feet onto the new platform to the east, the mirror image, as the mayor was mentioning to you. We've saved all of the windows. We've taken anything of real importance that could be fragile in the move, like the crystals out of the cabinet, and they are now off-site being restored and being rebuilt so that they'll be replaced in the building once it's in its final form. So imagine about June when we started this, the frame was put into place, and through the last month, a series of hydraulic jacks were used with almost 15,000 feet of hydraulic hosing to lift this building very carefully into the air. The building was taken up 36 inches or thereabouts, a meter, and as you know the ground was taken down about that far to get rid of the uh, contaminated material which are now making the berm for the football stadium. So in total you'll see the building sitting above your head almost seven feet in the air. 1,700 tons of building and steel structure that's now hanging up there. And when it was in the air, we then introduced 48 sets of tandem wheels with hydraulic motors or engines in them that are then, through the same hydraulic system, tied back to two 500 horsepower motors that are special and came up from our friends in the States. There are about three of these uh, engines in the world. And now, with this thing sitting, We'll go on our little tour and you can see how this building will now move very carefully and slowly over the next two days down close to the new garage. And sometime, probably Thursday of next week, once we've finished with all of the little tricks and checks on the garage, testing stress, testing concrete, making sure the reshoring and everything is safe and that the men and women are safe on this project, it will be slipped onto the garage and over a similar redo, uh, the building will be lowered onto new foundations 